is Kate. Welcome to Cooper into Analysis 101. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload more videos. Also, like and share as well. Guys, how do you hurt the narcissist and how do they react to this? How do you hurt the narcissist and how do they react to this? And of course, when we say hurt the narcissist, we mean you reacting to their provocations, uh, respond to their provocations, you are uh, defending yourself on uh, whatever nonsense they have going on, or uh, you voicing your opinion, simply stating, that's not how I want that to be done, uh, this is what I think about this, or you refusing for your boundaries to be crossed. You know, they switch, want to switch things around on a wimp or whatever they have, I don't want, and you're like, no, mm -mm, no, we're not doing that. You know, I'm going to stick to the rules here, stick to the to the order or something like that. So this, these are all to the narcissists, you're hurting them. You're hurting them by doing all this stuff. So when we say hurting the narcissist, it's not like you go out there and really go look for the trouble or go over there to, you know, yell at them or fight them. No, this is what the narcissist will consider hurting them. So the narcissist will react in two different modes here. Either they go to, with the victim mode or they go to the villain mode, you know. So under the victim mode, this is when they will report you to whoever. Report to the family members. If let's say you guys have family members that, you know, you guys still you know, in communication with because of the children or whatever, or you have a mutual friend, this is when they go over there to report whatever it is. But check this out, guys, though. They go to report you. They're not going to report the event that just happened or whatever it is that, you know, you guys got into it and they feel like somehow, the you know, you've uh, slighted them. So they're going to report them. No, that's not what they're going to do. They're going to come out with uh, a different event. They might uh, pick out an event that happened um, five months ago. And then attach it to however it is you reacted with what's currently happening. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They will take something that might have happened five, six months ago. Any event that happened over there. Then they take that event and then take the response that you're giving now for this current thing that's going on to that event. So when the person that they're reporting to is looking at it, you know, it looks, it, it, it sounds nice because obviously when they do this, they want it to come out better. You know, they're not going to tell the, the, the person they're reporting to exactly what they did. No. So they, they either they take an event that happened previously and take your response to what is currently happening, or they take your response of what happened previously and attach it to the event that just happened. Either way, none of those will be right. So when the whoever it is that, you know, they reported to get hold of you and like, oh, well, I heard this, what's going on? And, and, you know, and they're talking about something and you're like, hold on, wait, 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 what, what? That, that that didn't happen you know so but that's a nice that's exactly what they would do you know so and this is exactly a uh, uh, time that they will you know they mix up stories like i said they grab things response from here this from there none of that they're not going to simply state what happened you know this they're simply going to report to whoever the family member or friend or whatever it is that you know you know you guys kind of still in communication with together they go there, they're simply going over there to let them know how you wronged them, that you wronged them so bad, you know, so that's what they came to report. And this is, guys, this is when the time that these people will call the cops on you. They can call the cops on you for, uh, just for nothing. They can call the cops and say, I've been trying to reach my kids for over uh, uh, three days now and I can't get through. They're not answering the phone and blah, blah, blah. Could you guys, you know, do... A welfare check, of course, that's what the cops will do. They come to your house, and the only time you, <laughs> you they come over there, and they're like, oh, we came to check on the kids or whatever, and you're confused. Because the narcissist called them, and they're lying that they haven't, you know, talked to the kids in a while. So the cops will go over there to check on the kids to make sure that everything is okay. And, of course, you are... Um, in shock and confused and considering that you know you you guys probably don't they probably talk to the kids like yesterday you know but these are all the things that you know that when the narcissist goes to the victim mode they are reacting to whatever it is that this quote unquote hurt them this is one of the things they'll do you be you don't be shocked they will call the cops they'll call the cops they'll call the um social worker they will call the social service the cp they will call everybody they will call the people and mix up things you know, by the time you get, you know, of course, they're going to be lying. So by the time you get yourself out of those things, you know, and cleared and, you know, know there's nothing there. But the thing is that you have to go through all that stress. Why? Because this is them playing a the victim. This is them playing a role here that, you know, 
this is uh i've been wronged i've been wronged i've been denied my children go check on them they're keeping my children away from me you know something like that and that that's them being the victim here and when they go to the villain mode when they go to the villain mode this is when of course you know they will ghost you ghost the kids for weeks on end and um uh, or if they're paying making you know payments phew, that might stop too. They're going to, you know, stop making payments for two or three months, you know, to really show you, um, especially if the payment is the one that they're not, um, they're paying directly from the account, you know, he's not going there, the uh, child support office is not withdrawing directly from their account. So they can control when it goes out, when it doesn't go out. So they could automatically decide not to, you know what, because of you daring to state your, opinion or daring to maintain your boundaries when i wanted to cross it okay i'm not going to make any payments for the next three months you know that's exactly all happened and if they give you know they gave any gift or whatever to you or to the, no maybe not to you but to the <laughs> to the kids or whatever they might collect pick those back you know they might go collect those back because you know they think if they are doing it to the kids automatically they are doing it to you so um yeah they might collect gifts that they give out <laughs> back up you know back out on promises they made to the kids because that would you know affect you so that's something they'll do you know so you or you they'll, they don't be surprised they call you at work for you know trying to get you into trouble you know they'll call you they try to get get you into trouble with whatever it is you work you know they'll call and uh it has constituted nuisance over there to get people to look at you crazy or something else but whatever they can do, definitely do something to affect where you work. That's another way they, they they attack, they react to you, in quote hurting them, you know. So, guys, the narcissists definitely uh, our own definition of hurting people and theirs is different. They're, they're anything anytime you deviate from how they've aligned or they've stated or they have, you know, already said how you are supposed to react, then you are hurting them. You know, if you don't believe buying to what they're selling, you are hurting them. And this is the kind of uh, route they would take to get back at you, in quote, for hurting them. And all you simply did was defend yourself, state your opinions, maintain your boundaries. That's it. That is narcissist to narcissist. That's you hurting them. Because how dare you not buy into what I'm selling? How dare you not, you know, stick to what I told you to say? You know, stick to what I told you to think. You know, so you because of that, they will punish you. And these are some of the ways that they'll do it. All right, guys, get a hold of your mind. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.